Hey guys, in this video, determining whether a candlestick will break through or reject a specific price level is essential for successful trading. Yet, predicting the direction of the next candlestick can be a challenging task for many traders. Fortunately, there is a free indicator available that can assist with this process. This particular indicator is highly effective and well-designed, earning it an Editor's Pick Award. You may be curious about the indicator's capabilities, and its purpose is to provide insight into the potential direction of the next candlestick, allowing traders to make more informed and profitable trades. Well, this indicator shows you the exact probability of a particular point in the price action being reached, allowing you to make a prediction of the next candlestick that is based on data, causing there to be a high probability of you being right. So let's first add the indicator to the chart. To do this, head over to the Indicator Search tab and search for the Breakout Probability Indicator. Select the indicator made by Xiaoman and add it to the chart. It's important that we first understand how the indicator works. As you can see, the indicator plots levels on the chart along with the chance of the level being hit. So in this case we can see that there was a 67.37% chance that the candlestick would reach this level. And as you can see, the level was indeed reached. The number that are plotted on the chart aren't random in fact. The indicator predicts the direction of the next candlestick by analyzing the patterns of green and red candlesticks. It separates them by the color of the previous candle and assigns scores to them based on if one or more lines were reached. Then the indicator looks at how many candles in the past have met those criteria and shows that as a percentage value for each line. This way the indicator can showcase accurate percentages of whether or not the next candlestick will break the previous high or low. We can also see that there is a table in the top right corner of the screen which shows the total wins and losses, allowing us to see the average win rate. Keep in mind that this is by using the most basic strategy. Later on in the video we will show methods to increase the win rate. If we head over to the indicator settings and click on the inputs tab, we will see the following firstly, there is a percentage step setting. This setting allows us to change the percentage between the lines. Simply said, you can make the lines closer to each other or further apart. So making the step 05, for example, will cause for closer lines to be plotted. It's important to keep in mind that when trading in lower volatility markets like the Forex market, you will probably need to lower the step value. This is because an increase of 5% in one candlestick on a Forex pair is very unlikely. Another interesting setting is the number of lines. You can use this to decrease the number of lines that the indicator plots. To make the chart less cluttered, you can also disable or enable lines that have a less than a 0% chance of being hit. By default, this is enabled. The second checkbox pertains to enabling or disabling the statistics panel. Finally, these settings can be used for setting alerts. Keeping everything at the default settings works best for the strategy and methods we will be showcasing. However, since we won't be using the statistics panel, we will be disabling it to make the chart less cluttered. Now that we know exactly how the indicator works, let's take a look at how we can properly read and use the indicator. The most basic way of reading the indicator is by looking at the percentages and seeing if the price action is going to form a green or red candle. As you can see here, there was a 72.42% chance of the candlestick being bullish and breaking above the previous candlestick. And if we take a look at the candlestick, we see that it indeed broke above the previous candlestick. Even though this is the easiest way of using the indicator, I wouldn't recommend using it on its own with this method. In fact, there are a lot more profitable ways of using the indicator, so let's take a look at those. For the second method, we will first take a look at the prediction of the next candlestick on a higher time frame. In this case, we are using the 4-hour time frame. As you can see, according to the indicator, there is a high likelihood of the next candlestick crossing below the previous candlestick. Keeping this in mind, we will switch to the 15 minutes time frame. On the 15 minutes time frame, both long and short signals are provided. However, since the indicator was showing a bearish signal on the 4 hour time frame, we will not enter into long positions on the lower time frames since this would go against the greater trend. 
The third way we can use the indicator is by utilizing the levels for your stop loss. In this example, we can see that the chance of the next candle reaching this level is 0.5%. Along with this, we can also see that there is a 70.39% chance of the price breaking above the high of the previous candlestick. This means that if we would enter into the position, we can place the stop loss at the level which has the lowest percentage of being hit. This helps us statistically lower the chances of the stop loss being hit. Now that we know how the indicator works, how we can read it and how we can use it, let's take a look at a strategy along with entry examples to use the indicator with. To create a strategy to use the breakout probability indicator with, let's add an extra indicator to the chart. Head over to the indicator search tab and search for the 10 in 1 different moving averages indicator. Select the indicator made by Hyman Chu and add it to the chart. Next, navigate to the indicator preferences or configuration options. We will be adding three emmas to the chart. So let's select these. Now we will change the values of the emmas. The first EMA will have a value of 21, the next one will have a value of 50 and the last one will have a value of 100. Finally, let's change the colors of the emmas. That was all that we needed to do. Now let's take a look at how we will be combining the indicators to enter into a position. First we will look at the prediction made on the 4 hour time frame by the breakout probability indicator. Based on the probability of the next candlestick being lower or higher than the previous candlestick, we will choose a bias to have for the 15 minutes time frame. Then we will switch to the 15 minutes time frame. On the 15 minutes time frame we will be looking for signals provided by either the EMAs or the market structure. If the signals are congruent with the signal provided by the breakout probability indicator on the 4 hour time frame, we will enter into the position. Finally, we will be basing the stop loss and take profit on the values of the breakout probability indicator. Now that you know the steps we will be taking to enter into a position, let's go over some trade examples. We are currently looking at gold on the 4 hour time frame. As you can see there was a downtrend playing out. However, we can see that the downtrend was broken because the price made a higher high instead of a lower high. We also see that the breakout probability indicator is showing us that there is over a 65% chance of the price breaking above the previous candlestick. This means that we will have a bullish bias. Now let's switch to the 15 minutes time frame. On the 15 minutes time frame we can see that a pullback has occurred to the 100 period EMA. We also see that the price has started to reject the 100 period EMA. To confirm this, let's wait for the price to close above the 21 period EMA. As you can see, this occurs here. Now that we have confirmed the bullish rejection, let's enter into the buy position. It's a good idea to place the stop loss at a level that has an extremely low chance of being hit. However, as you can see here, the level is too far away. So instead we will be placing the stop loss at the recent swing low. For the take profit, we will be target 1 each to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. Here we see that there was a downtrend playing out on the 4 hour time frame. However, after the price consolidated for a bit, the downtrend continued. Along with this, we also see that the breakout prediction indicator is showing us that there is a high chance of a bearish candlestick. Because of this, we will have a bearish bias on the 15 minutes time frame. On the 15 minutes time frame, we see that the price pulled back to the 100 period EMA and rejected it multiple times, making it a strong resistance point. We can see that a new pullback just occurred. So let's enter into the position once the candlestick closes below the 21 period EMA. This time, the zone that is unlikely to be hit is close to the price action, making it a realistic stop loss point. Along with this, we can also see that the price has used the level as resistance before. So let's place our stop loss here. For the take profit, we will be target 1 each to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out.
I hope you now better understand how the breakout probability indicator can be used, along with how you can integrate it into your own strategies. Traders, our video has come to an end. We hope you find it useful. Be sure to hit the like button to it and subscribe to our channel for more new strategies in the future. Thanks for watching our video.